social media and music, uh, music of uh, freedom of music, and I'm thinking, are there a, a social, non-social media as well? Good question. I must start off by apologizing. We represent the dominant power structure yeah. for three white yeah. men. Yeah, uh, I thought about that, but I didn't uh, know. I apologise. Well, I'm not the white expert. <laughs> <laughs> We're three educated upper class, not upper class, not, not, upper, class, not, not yet. upper class in money. You're, up, you're educated, you come from a place that you're not like me. Um, we are three men. I apologise, it's a shame. Um, okay, to get to what we were talking about here. Um, it's, uh, 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 I was looking at this, and the, and the thing is, uh, um, social media and music. And I'm not a music guy and I was thinking I don't know fuck off with social media and music. What the fuck am I gonna say here? Uh, and, but then I, I, I thought that well it's not quite true. I do know something about social media and music. Social media is what I use to steal music. Um, and I, I steal an awful lot of music I have to say. Uh, and um, I then started to think that, you know, Stephen, okay, and then I remember what Marx once said that uh, theft is really just the uh, primitive redistribution of wealth. Um, which came to the class. Uh, and, um, so, is music free? Fuck no. Is any of us free? No. Solomon Burke, who I really like, said, as long as one of us is chained, none of us are free. And this I believe to be also absolutely true. Will social media change the world? No. Will music change the world? No. People change the world. Activists change the world. People doing shit changes the world. Social media is a really good way to get our message to lots of different people. Music is an incredibly useful tool to get our mu to get our message to lots of different people. We use them in different ways. Is music a force for good? Absolutely. Is music a force for bad? Absolutely. I come from Ireland. Uh, in Ireland, we uh, uh, use music a lot. Tribally, use music a lot. We use music to reinforce our identities. We use them not only to reinforce our identities, we use them to reinforce the identity of the other, whoever that other happens to be. And so it, music for me was great. When I was growing up, music was something that helped organize people. It helped send coded messages to people. The music we listened to told people what our politics were. The music we talked about told other people what we felt, how we looked. It was also the case that that same music was used by the other in the area where I was, in the same way. They used it to reinforce their identity. They used it to reinforce their talking encoded messages. And we were listening to the same fucking shit, but we had totally, totally, totally different views and totally different points of departure on what they were. Um, so for me, uh, social media, all of this shit, digitalization is changing the structures of the societies that we live in. I believe, I could be wrong, I often am, but I believe that we're going through a period in the same way that we did in the Industrial Revolution. The Industrial Revolution wasn't a technical change, although people in the Industrial Revolution talked about technology. The Industrial Revolution was a sociological, social mindset change. It changed the way we thought. It changed the way we saw society. It changed the way we saw ourselves in relation to the societies that we were in. And I believe that the same thing is happening in digi with digitalization. It's changing our thought processes. It will be the site of a massive amount of conflict because it disrupts. We, we, everybody will tend to say, social media, disruptive media, that's what we say. When shit gets disrupted, people get pissed off. People with power, when they get disrupted, start to kick, bite, spit, kill. People who don't have power want it. They start to do the same fucking thing. And yes, we will see an incredible amount of battles. Will there be battles in music? Of course there will. We censor music. We censor music all the time. We censor music continuously. In America, you have Tripper Gore, Al Gore, the almost president of the United States, wife going out and saying that we have to, you know, we have to drive a campaign against all these fucking swear words in in in, in hip hop, you know, as if that was the problem. Uh, you know, uh, in Sweden, we have the same thing. In Europe, we have the same thing. Music will also be always be censored as long as the societies that we live in are not free, then the music we play will not be free. It's a no-brainer, one would think, but it's something that's not a no-brainer. I don't know whether that's an answer to the question, but it's the answer I'm giving. Okay. <laughs> now, you mean... Some of the gangster rap music extremely offensive. Does that give me the right to stop it? 
when we start talking, I seriously believe this, when we start saying that because I am offended by something, it should be stopped, is when freedom dies. It's, the freedom is not the right to be not offended. The freedom is the right for other people to say stuff that I find offensive. Okay, I